Well, hello, beautiful souls. Thanks for coming. Guys, I've had some requests to do some kind of weather predictions. So let's see what the universe wants us to know about the weather. What about the weather? What's going on? Mm. Communities. Mm. Full moon is... A lot of people are going to have to trust their instincts. There's going to be a lot of healing to do. Shaman healing. You know what I mean? Earth uh, fairies are here trying to protect the the earth. There is... so oh, jeez. Could be a lot of early winters or cold weather. The waters are flowing uh, like effortlessly. There could be floodings, like desert areas getting flooded. It's messing up the, it's messing up the whales direction. There could be a tsunami and it's making the creatures the water creatures, the whales, lose direction, go the opposite directions. You could have whales, like, losing their mi migratory routes. There could be a lot of tsunamis. Wake-up calls, like big waves, a lot of water. A lot of water, which is going to confuse the, the whales here. But it'll all come out because there is life after this. Huh. Something about the forests. Volcanoes. So it's almost like saying like there's going to be an overabundance of waters. Volcanoes could be erupting and that tsunami alerts could be out here. A lot of people are, the ancients are here telling people to take note of these weird anomalies. It will rebirth in the spring, but there could be like early cold, a lot of water, a lot of flooding, a lot of tsunamis, lots and lots of water. It's almost like the forests will thrive, but there could be a lot of tsunamis, a lot of water, tons of water, water, water. It could be melting of the icebergs, early melts, causing floods. The forests will be given a chance to breathe, which means that there's a lot of freaking water. A lot of water, tons of water, major amounts of water. The polar ice caps could melt. Things are heating up, melting the ice. You know, ice that have been submerged or coming up out of the water, melting. Earthquakes in volcanoes and lots of water. It's so Mother Nature can rebirth itself, you know. <clears throat> there could be a lot of suffering, you know, just saying. It's going to bring people closer together, that's what it's saying. A lot of people could be in isolation, like, oh my god. 
that kite could just actually mean what it means like if there's a lot of water it could like a lot of rains and a lot of torrent rains it could make people very depressed there could be a lot of block communications problems with cellular communications internet communications people not being able to get through a lot of power outages and a lot of deaths i'm sorry to say and there could be a lot of blackouts you know It's really important to trust your intuitions and your instincts at this time. Pay attention to your, don't be a hero. You know what I mean? There might be a lot of rescuing of people to be done. Like a lot of search and rescue. People could, you know, trust the animals. The animals always know when something is going up. They hide. There'll be silence in the forest. You know what I mean? The forests become very quiet. It's like, what weird, what happened to all the birds? Or, you know, they're hiding. Yeah, it's telling you to trust your natural instincts. Like, watch the animals. The animals will indicate when there's going to be a tsunami, an earthquake, a flood. That's the truth, Spirit saying. Sometimes Mother Earth just rages. You know what I mean? There could be a lot of raging, like. A lot of confusion and anger. Why weren't we told? Or how come we didn't have this information? Stuff like that. A lot of, there could be a lot of cold. You know what I mean? Like people having to go for charity and food and shelter. There could be a lot of confusion. This is winter. Heavy snowfalls. I don't know. A lot of defensive energy. Oh my god. I don't know. A lot of heavy burdens for a lot of people. People doing stupid stuff. Making foolish decisions and stuff like that. It could cause like a lot of confusion. People doing things recklessly. You know what I mean? Hmm. The sun is here causing growth, though. Something to do with the phases of the sun, like the sun burning things and the waters, like downpours, torrential downpours, a lot of heat waves, early snow, like... Uh, cold temperatures or melting of the melting of the icebergs you know it's disorienting the freaking if it can disorient <coughs> sorry if it can make the fishes of the sea disoriented that they lose their direction, it's going to have the same effect on humanity. Trust your intuition. It's going to bring people closer together, I do know that. But there could be a problem in people communicating. I 
That's the ethers. That's having all the tools available to provide in safe shelter. Like make sure you have enough provisions to last if there is a power outage or or a catastrophe. Like I'm not telling people to go out and store up on all this sh stuff, but have enough water and food available, safe shelter emplacements and stuff like that. But the biggest thing is to trust your instincts, your intuitions. Watch the animal creatures. The animals always are the best forecaster of weather than anything else. There's going to be a lot of sadness, you know. Not everybody's going to fare so well. You know what I mean? Water, water, water. Desert and water. There is going to be disasters. There's no question about it. It could be uh, volcanoes erupting, crazy weather patterns, storms, tsunamis, the winds picking up, extreme weather patterns. And this is done by the universe. Huh. Yeah. Now I see the deserts here. The deserts may actually start to grow things. So even the desert areas may see plant life that they have never seen. There's going to be a step up in... Um, this could be the military. This could be people offering assistance, like offering aid. Provisions. A lot of water. It's just, I keep seeing a lot of water. It's to balance things back out. To, there could be problems in travel. People like traveling. Travel deaths, like, it could be vehicles, it could be transportation delays, unable to travel, unable to cross borders or something like that, or restrictions being put on. There is going to be some deaths. I'm sorry. Drownings, like there is just so much water. It's like the universe or the earth trying to flush itself out. I don't know. Uh, military could be called in, in some areas. Safe zones put up and stuff like that. Because people, um, there could be a lot of howling winds, I'm just saying. Or a lot of angry people or frustrated people rushing, rushing, rushing. You know, the military might have to rush in like defensively. There could be rioting. You know what I mean? People rioting. I mean, that's what it's saying. People looting, stealing. Especially if there's a blackout. It's like the... Um, my cards are saying there could be riots. There could be people rising up, you know, the government stepping in to avoid rioting, to avoid looting and stealing. People are going to go to jail. You know what I mean? A lot of arrests are going to be made. Because people want to ignore what 
the authorities have told them to do. They might be reduced to stealing. They might be reduced to thefts because maybe they didn't provide enough shelter or food. You know what I mean? Yeah. People are going to get hurt here. You know, there is going to be injuries. Hmm. There could be people who are stealing from the rich. You know what I mean? There's going to be a lot of people worrying. You know what I'm saying? About their loved ones. A lot of fear, anxiety about their loved ones. Just saying. That's what I'm getting. So this is what my reads are saying guys well I guess we'll soon see how that all plays out but there is a whole lot of water in these reeds it's almost like the desert could even get water where plants start to grow that never grew before and it's just tons of water it's like the forests there could be fires there could from the volcanoes but it's definitely showing the polar caps melting floods volcanoes and tsunamis take care everyone make sure everyone is safe as safe as possible spirit take care guys